All right. These MyQ hubs like to, well, it's a legal obligation they have to beep and flash their LEDs. And they got a little speaker in there that they beep as well whenever they close the garage door to make sure that they assume you're not near the garage door. Um, you could be, you know, miles away closing your garage door on your phone through MyQ. Um, and they want to make sure that it alerts people nearby. It's a legal obligation they have. I'm not for sure the technicalities there with the legal obligation, but that's the high and low. Uh, so we're going to take this open and get rid of that because it sucks and it's a nuisance and it's loud and it bothers the neighbors, I'm sure. What we've got here is the white version. I've done this to the black version as well. It's about the same approach. The speaker looks a little different. Let's get right into it. I've got uh, some tape here over the Mac address and whatnot just for privacy. On the back here, we've got two screws that we gotta take out. I think this is a T10 that I'm using. I think these are T10 screws. Once we've got that open, these three buttons are on a little plastic piece that can fall out pretty easily, so just Make sure to be ready to catch that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my thumb in here and just take this off, keep it flat. I'm gonna put this aside, put this with these screws here. So we've got here, looking at this board, get a spudger here for a pointer. What I'm gonna do is, this is the speaker right here, it's a tan guy. And obviously these are the LEDs. And so what I've got is some liquid tape, liquid electrical tape. Um, I'm just gonna paint over all these LEDs, just lazy style. And I'm gonna break the shit out of this speaker. So, just gonna, let me get a set of pliers. We could obviously desolder these off the board. Or we could just do that. Speakers off. Get some electrical tape here on the LEDs to darken them. And this might take a couple passes. You know, let it dry, do a layer, let it dry, do another layer kind of thing. Obviously, this is going to void the sh out of your warranty. So. That's about it. I'm going to let that dry and hidden again here in just a sec. Be about dry. We'll begin with another round of liquid electrical tape. Be nice and thick on there because it will, those LEDs do really light up. They got a good amount of wattage behind each one. Amperage, voltage, whatever. Good amount of wattage. Probably low voltage, decent amperage. Sure. They'll go through the electrical tape if you only do one thin layer. Um, I tried putting, you know, just duct tape over this at first. This glass, I'm sorry. Plastic, maybe. Still got through like crazy. Bleeds out on all the edges. So, uh, just go to the source, I guess. Looks good. Did a quick uh, test run for the plug. Gonna close this back up and uh, do the follow up video on actually once it's mounted and actually using it. Alright, so we're back. I've got old iPhone, logged into the MyQ account. This is the hub that I'm gonna, this is this hub on MyQ. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this guy. Turn this. Okay. 
I take a gander outside into the garage. That opens the garage just great. So what I'm gonna do is just mock that the garage is now up with the sensor. Oh, that's closed, I'm sorry. So fun fact, if this uh, is an issue, can we just kill it, restart it? You can see here it's recognizing something's amiss. If you hit this screen, hit exit, don't hit continue. It's a trap. Dim this down a little bit. So it thinks it's opening it. Put that like that. And look outside. It did. Now close the garage door. It thinks it's open because the sensor's flat. And so when it's open now is where it will be doing the whole beeping and flashing escapade. So looks like we might need to paint over it a little bit more, yeah? But the speaker's definitely uh, <laughs> good to go. Look outside. It is opening the garage door now. See this? Uh, did reach close the way we want. So it looks like we want to open this back up, put a little bit more electrical tape over it. I'm sure there's 101 million different ways to do this better, but this is super lazy, super efficient, and I mean, this thing's 20 bucks in the first place. It's not like we're messing with 200, 300 dollar hardware to worry about. I'm sure this runs a thermal risk for the LEDs because you're insulating them essentially. Um, but as you can see, Earlier, they don't blink that long, and they definitely don't blink frequently at all, so. I'd say that can be ruled out as an actual issue at all, actual danger at all. I'm gonna turn this fan back on onto it. A little longer. All right. I guess pretty dry. So this is where it should begin blinking and whatnot. Can't see any light coming through that. It is closing the garage though, so it's trying to flash through that and it's trying to beep. Uh, we've done it folks. We've killed it while keeping it alive. <laughs> this was pretty uh, ghetto. Sorry for all the, don't really cut corners, but um, Rough approaches, we'll say, but uh, it's a quick and easy task. Uh, I'll grab the liquid tape here so you can see what kind of liquid tape this is. I'll probably put a link if it's still, uh, if there's still a listing for this on Amazon.
That's it. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. See ya.